how adorable are these Christmas gnomes? All four of those made yesterday afternoon. And everything came from the dollar store. Every single piece that you see there um, was uh, purchased at the dollar store for each one of these little gnomes is less than five dollars. And you still have time if you're looking for ideas for Christmas go to the dollar store, I'll show you the parts that you need and you too can make these for family gifts for this Christmas. So let's go do it. Okay, so let's take a look and see what it takes to make this adorable little guy. And when then we can talk about all the other options and things that you can do to make every one of these uh, seem individual. All right, so we're gonna start with the base. For the base, at the dollar store, for one dollar, you can pick up these two pair of socks. The white one is ideal for the guy with the little white nose. You can use the gray ones for, um, for another uh, design. I'll show you how we use these. I picked up a hat. You can also get a, a, a sock, a, like a Christmas stocking. It has this uh, faux, uh, faux fur around it. And I'll show you how you get that off of there to make the to make the uh, to make the beard. Oh, here's here's one of those stockings that you can get. I like the hats. I seem to get to a little bit more. Now we've only done four of these. We did those yesterday, but um, there's uh, actually fur on its way uh, from Amazon. So the other thing that you're going to need rice and you're going to also need some other socks um, once again dollar store has lots of different socks that you can choose from uh, let me see here here's a, a whole bunch that we picked up uh, these are great for the body great for hats and what else do you need um, you can pick up these bells you can pick up some blush for their noses to give them cold noses. All of this is available. Some rubber bands that you're going to use. All of this is uh, available at the dollar store. So let's uh, take a look at what you're going to need for tools. Okay, so to fill up the sock with rice, you're going to need a cup to start with, a little dispenser. You're going to need a pair of craft scissors, the blush I was talking about. I use this uh, little ripper to uh, open up um, the hats uh, to take off the fur. I'll show you how I did that. This is to uh, when we're using the glue gun. Do not put your fingers on the fur. When you're pressing it down, you will get a burnt thumb like I did. Use a popsicle stick or the back of an old pair of craft scissors or something like that. So let's uh, start making gnomes. Okay, so here is Lonnie, my wife, and she is going to show you how she made the um, beard for this adorable little guy here. Okay, let's get started. So to start with, you get a mop, a simple mop off the shelf and you cut off all of the strands like Lonnie did there and now you take each individual strand and you're going to just pull the strands apart simple as that how easy is that now you can see from the pile there that you're going to be able to make a lot of beards just from one single mop uh, we've already made one little guy and there's probably enough there for another, I don't know, half a dozen, maybe ten. So I hope you got lots of friends that uh, you're going to be gifting these to. We'll show you how the, we attach those as a beard. So let's get started with making the inner body. And we do that with, in this case, a white sock. And I'm just using one of these uh, little red plastic cups 
Now you can use anything you really want. I'm just using this to start the process. Um, it makes it a little easier to get it going. And you're just going to put anywhere, it's usually about four cups of rice. If you're going to use rice, you could use other fillers. Um, I think you could use uh, batting out of a, out of a pillow um, if you wanted to. Um, the only thing is, the nice thing about rice is it makes them kind of nice and uh, weighted so that they stand up nice and strong. Um, but I'm sure you can experiment with other things. Uh, this rice was a dollar from the dollar store, so uh, um, and I think these are um, two pound bags. So. Alright, now at this point you're going to discard the red cup and you're going to start to weigh this little guy down. And you're just going to have to do this as carefully as you can without making too much of a mess. Um, probably helpful if you have somebody give you a hand to do it, but it is something that you can accomplish on your own. Okay, so I think that this is enough. All right, look at this guy. He's gonna have a big fat body. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get two rubber bands and these are kind of cute. I picked these up from the dollar store. I, when I opened them up I thought these are never going to work. They are way too flimsy. But in fact, they've worked out pretty well. So at the very, very top here, you're just going to put a rubber band for now. That's to stop the rice coming out while you make his nose. All right, that should do. Now, this is a strange sock. It's got one side and this side. Let's put the nose on this side here. And you're going to just grab, you want to come down a couple of inches, inch and a half from the top here. And you're going to grab as much rice as you can. And you're going to pull up a nice round nose. And using that second rubber band, you can attach that around. Now you can make this nose as big or as small as you like. That's kind of small and dinky for this great big guy here. So let's have another go at this and see if we can give him a bigger nose. He's going to be a big guy. And it takes a little bit of practice because every time you let go, that rice is going to go back down into the sock. So, okay, it's not huge, but that's a pretty good sized gnome nose, don't you think? All right, so now we have got what I call the base of the body, and as you can see, with a sock like this, the rice is right there, it's quite visible. So what you're going to do next is add another sock on here to give it some body. Let's just grab one from here and we'll use this one here. Obviously the sock is too big, so we're going to cut it off, but don't cut off too much. The reason I pull it up first before I cut it 
is because I want to see where it's going to come and I want it to come right to the top up here so I know I'm going to cut it around here so let's do a little cut here we'll take him off and cut that So that was kind of just above the heel, but we'll cut that through like so. Now the next part is we're going to bring it up, but we're going to have a little cut here so that we can pull it up around his nose. But before we do that, I'm going to just strengthen this. Um, nose because those rubber bands are a little bit flimsy uh, they certainly work well to uh, get you to be able to pinch it up like that but that band is going to disintegrate or break at some point so you're not going to see this um, so you can do a nice solid knot here and that's going to hold that nose in place as you move forward. Okay, so I'm going to put the heel in the back. We'll bring this up to the top here. Pull it up nice and snug. And about here is where I'm going to cut my slit up through here and we're going to pull it up around his body now I haven't turned the glue gun on yet so let me turn the glue gun on and we're going to run some glue around here, pull this up, fit this down, then we'll pull this up over the body and we'll glue it up around the top. And that will be the first part of the body of the gnome. Okay, let's do that. All right, we have the glue gun heated up. And as you can see, uh, the dollar store socks don't exactly hold up very well, but don't worry too much about that. Um, we're just going to put a little bit of glue around here and we're just going to snug this up nice and tight up underneath and I'm going to use this little popsicle stick to push this down and you can see you can see the glue coming through so if you're using your fingers you know what's going to happen you're going to get your fingers burnt trust me I know my thumb. Just allow that to dry. And then we can bring this in and do the same thing up around here. Don't worry too much about it disintegrating. Um, yes, they're cheap socks. Um, now, the reason we went to the dollar store is because uh, we're in our second lockdown um, here in California. Uh, the sort of stores you'd normally go to, like Michael's and Joanna Fabrics, um, are closed. Um, so it was getting what we could. Um, I'm probably going to do another video um, when I've had a chance to get out and find some other socks. Obviously not going to go to Nordstrom's or any expensive socks, but uh, maybe Target, Walmart, some of these other places might still have some festive uh, socks that uh, we can use uh, which will make it more interesting so uh, if you like this and you find it useful come back check out the second video when I do it um, and see uh, some of the other uh, options that you can do to make these guys cute
So just think, this is this is not rocket science. There's no science involved in this. This is all just artsy fartsy stuff that you will learn as you go along, just like I did. Lonnie and I had a blast yesterday afternoon making these guys. And as I said, out of uh, really, really cheap material. Now before you finish up at this end here, um, and, and glue all that up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another piece uh, of this um, through here, if I can find where it belongs. Ah, oh, there it is, there. Okay. Because once again, I don't want this rubber band popping off and us losing all the rice, either in the build or later on. Because I think these are the sort of thing that's going to get put away in a box and used every year at Christmas. Or knowing my wife, we might have one of these sitting by the side of the, the bed or something. Or on the shelf somewhere because they are super cute. Alright, so that's just going to tie that up. I'm going to finish gluing all of this all together. You don't need to have to watch all that. And then we'll come back to the next stage. So the object at the top here is not to make it look pretty. Um, especially with these cheap socks, uh, it's not easy to do. Uh, the important thing is uh, using the glue to stop it sliding back down again after you've made this little guy. Um, now we can shape him up a little bit and push him into the shape you want to uh, have him. You can put a little belt around here um, uh, to uh, make him sit a little bit better. I don't think you really need to do that. You're not going to see much of it except for the back. Um, the beard's going to cover everything at the front. So, uh, talking of beards, let's take a look at how I took this and stripped this off so that I could use it to make the guy's beard. Now, I can't wait because I've got some uh, other fur coming from Amazon um, so we can make white beards and different colors uh, beards. Uh, but for now, this was what I was able to find at the dollar store. So let's get to the beard. So all we're doing here is scavenging material and um, as I couldn't purchase fur from Joanna's or anywhere else at the moment, I thought this would be a reasonable option. Um, so to start with, you've got to take this hat to pieces. And all, you, all I did was I went round and I used this uh, little seam uh, um, stripper. I'm not sure what you call these things, but I took off all the, the uh, cotton that's holding this in place. I did it uh, all the way around uh, so that I can pull this back and uh, let me do that and I'll take you to the next stage. Alright, so I've removed all the stitching on the inside so I can pull this back. And now it's pretty much a simple job of finding the inside stitching, which runs along in here. And once again, using this nifty tool, as I said, I don't know the technical name for it, but I'm just going to pick up this all the way around here and get this started. All right, so I'm using my nifty, uh, I don't know, I'm going to call it a seam ripper here, uh, to lift up the thread as I'm moving around. Let's see if I've got enough here to start ripping. Oh yeah, I think I got enough now. All right, once you get to that stage, whoops, careful not to ruin his fur. You're just gonna pull it all the way around. Okay, 
Do not discard this because this is going to be a hat at some point. You can cut it off here and it's going to make a nice little cute hat for one of your gnomes. So put it aside. A lot of this material here you're going to be able to use again. You can use this for wrapping the bodies, you can do use all sorts of things or for future projects. So I would say that 90% of all the materials that I've uh, scavenged I'm going to be able to use either for these gnomes or in other projects which is pretty cool. So once again I'm going to do the same thing here Now I've got, I don't know, one, two, three, four, at least four, at least five beards are going to be made with this. Um, so let's take it to the next level and add some faux beard to our gnome. Let's do it. Okay, um, you'll notice that this faux does, fur does lie in one direction. So make sure when you're cutting this, you're going to get this so that the beard is going to lie down this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up over the top of his nose to about here. And I'm going to say he's going to come right down to the base. So that's going to be about here. So I'm going to cut across here. Now you're going to cut through this fur. Um, so it's going to be a bit ragged at the bottom, but you can trim that up as you move forward. Um, if you're going to cut this, shape it round here, be very careful. Try not to cut through too much of the fur. Um, the easiest way to do is to kind of roll that back down and then I trim it back like so. Now you can trim all this up once you've got it on the guy. You don't have to do all this ahead of time. Um, and you can neaten it up. What you don't want is any real nice sharp edges. Now hopefully this is all going to lay down nice and flat once we get this going. So. You have a kind of a little rolled seams here. Um, I don't know, I haven't tried it, but I'm sure you could just iron that out if you wanted to. But for now, for this video, I'm just going to give you some idea of how to put this together. So we are going to bring this up to here. And what I'm going to do is make a slit here and bring this up over the top of his nose. So make sure you get this up or about right where you want it. And I'm actually going to cut a V into here. So I don't have a pen handy, otherwise, I would have marked this. So let's just start by giving this a V in here. Okay, this is going to give me enough to come up past the nose so that when the hat comes down, we're going to keep that there and then we can trim this off at the bottom as we move forward. So let's get the, the glue gun out again. Now I start by just tacking it around the bottom. I don't think there's any right or wrong way how to do this. Once again, find your popsicle stick. You do not want to be putting your fingers on that hot glue. Now be careful not to push it down too much because that glue will come through and start to uh, show through on your fur. So. Alright, 
Now you can just go around here and tack it. There, he's already beginning to look adorable. Look at that. Now we've got to find a way of making a hat. Let's uh, rummage through our stuff and see what we want to use. Okay, let's give him a little moustache here. Look at that, how cute is that? All right, let's make him a hat. Um, here's a couple of hats I made. Um, this was the leftover from one of these. Um, where we just stripped off the faux fur. Uh, you can make a little hat uh, like this. Um, you can fill them with uh, some batting, or I'm not sure what you call it, batting out of uh, maybe a pillow, an old pillow. Um, you can use a sock on their heads like you've seen with some of the others. And basically all you're going to do if you want to do that is take a pair of scissors, and cut your sock probably around the heel just cut it through the center of the heel uh, let me see here that's better all right don't discard that that could come in useful and basically, you've got yourself a gnome hat. You can put some batting in, batting in here. You can put some bells around the top like I did with the other ones. Um, once again, these are just cheap um, socks. If you can find some nice ones with like snowflakes on them or something like that, they are going to look even cuter. Um, I did make... A Santa Claus hat and I did that uh, with one of these so I took one of their let me make some room here I did this so scavenging from uh, one of uh, the dollar stores uh, Santa hats I just cut off a, a piece here and then I ripped, like I did with the other fur, I ripped this off of here. And I took a piece of it and attached it around the bottom of here. And um, I just did that with a glue gun. Um, I'm not a seamstress. Uh, I'm sure if you know how to sew, you could do that. Um, but it's still pretty easy to do uh, with a glue gun. Um, just once again, make sure you don't burn your fingers and you can make an adorable hat for your Santa, for your guy. And once again, we could pop some wrapping in here, make it stand up a little bit, whatever you want to do. All right, I thought I'd just give you a uh, speeded up video of um, how I um, made the uh, beard uh, using the uh, $1 mop from the dollar store. Um, I thought that if I try to put these on uh, directly onto the sock, uh, I'm going to burn my fingers. So I decided that um, I would have a backing and all I did was I used some of this um, material that was left over from uh, when I uh, cannibalized one of these uh, hats here. So um, I'm just going to cut a strip uh, here. And I'm going to, that wasn't even straight but I don't think it's going to matter too much. Um, I'm going to cut a V in here and this is going to allow me to pull the beard up over 
and gnome's nose and um, allow me to pull it up like this and we're going to be able to um, have the beard hanging down from here so uh, let me just neaten this up a little bit and pull this out here all right So even with a speeded up video, you can see that making this type of beard is far more time consuming. By the time you strip them up, uh, unweave the, uh, the fibers and glue them onto here, it takes a bit of time, but it does give you a totally different look uh, for your gnome. It makes them much more individual. You can trim these up and add this now to your gnome and gives you one more option so uh, as long as you've got the time <laughs> it's just one more thing to do hope that works for you guys so there's one I said we made four of those um, yesterday afternoon we're gonna make some more just because it's fun um, we've really enjoyed doing this and um, as I said when the other fur arrives um, I'm going to make uh, some uh, more videos because I'm going to try and find some more socks and some other ways um, I've seen people uh, um, on YouTube that have put uh, um, those sticks that you use for uh, waxing your arm uh, putting a couple of those underneath uh, so that uh, looks like he's on skis. I've seen people add arms. Um, there's all sorts of really neat things that you can do with these guys. Um, I just think they're adorable. I think they're precious. Um, it's easy to uh, just trim these up around here um, and make them look very, uh, very, very cute. And what a neat gift for Christmas. You've still got time to do this before the holiday. So uh, get out there, get to Dollar Store, and um, start making these guys. Have fun.